Do you have regrets of, about the withdrawal or how the withdrawal occurred from Afghanistan that cost the lives of 13 of our service members? I, I don't have any regrets. And so for all this talk of chaos, I just didn't see it. Not from my perch. The UN needs. There was mistakes during the withdrawal and before. No, no, all the evidence is coming back there. Remember what I said about Afghanistan? I said Al-Qaeda would not be there. I said it wouldn't be there. I said we'd get help from the Taliban. What's happening now? What's going on? Read your press. I was right. Read your press. No regrets. 13 of our warriors dead. 10 civilians, completely innocent drone strike. Seven of them were children. Nobody fired. Nobody reprimanded. They still brag about it. Joining me now, my buddy James Hassan, former Army captain, Afghanistan veteran, and author of a book, you need to read it. You want to find out about these warriors? Honor them. Honor their sacrifice. Find out how they were failed. The book's called Kabul. James, uh, no regrets, buddy. They brag about it, man. They looked at all that horror, all that death, all that destruction, and to this day, they sleep like babies at night. It's the epitome of gaslighting. Uh, the, the idea that this was inevitable or that somehow you know this was a success it is just laughable and it's an insult to every service member who served there but also specifically to the families and to the service members who gave their lives there is no metric in like in the world by which you could call this a success and the administration day over day rejected the advice of military leaders and set things in motion for exactly what happened. And then now they, they just don't want to talk about it. Now they just want to gaslight the American people into saying that you know, this was all inevitable. You know, 13 killed service members is just you know the cost of doing business of ending a war. And um, what we outline in our book is that that is 100% false. And uh, they're not going to hold themselves to account, but we're going to do it. Speaking of people being hurt and killed, Joe Biden is fond of going on TV and making this claim here. Now, how do you, you know, everybody says you could have gotten out without any, anybody being hurt. No one's come up with a way to ever indicate to me how that happens. Is that true, James? It was just inevitable. We were always going to get 13 people killed. Yeah, well, what I can, what I can tell you is that uh, maybe the way to avoid this was to not uh, abandon Bagram, which had several different airstrips, was completely defensible, and was an easy way for us to facilitate an evacuation. And instead, they were so focused on making sure that the number of troops that were in the country, May, June, July, uh, were you know publicly palatable, that they just completely um, abandoned any kind of strategic thinking. And it's funny. So I uh, talked to a number of guys who were at Bagram. I talked to a number of intelligence officers, and one thing that they were uh, circulating among themselves, is, as you and I would know when things really suck in the military, the only thing there is to do is joke about it. Uh, so uh, they uh, circulated a, a meme of uh, Sun Tzu, and it said, uh, always abandon your most strategic airfield right in the middle of an evacuation. And and that's yeah. exactly that's exactly what happened. And it, so the, the other point about, oh, the Taliban are, are you know, our friends, we asked for their cooperation. The Taliban were whipping American citizens. They were ripping up passports. They, it, you know, only days before they were actively attacking Americans, and somehow now, oh, they're our friends, and this is a success. Uh, it's, um, it's an insult to the intelligence of the average American and to anybody who even paid the slightest bit of attention to uh, 
you know, the scenes that were coming out of that. I, I don't think uh, a fully planned successful operation involves uh, civilians falling from airplanes. In the last few square miles that the U.S. military still controls in the country. You want to watch our special on George Washington? It's freaking awesome. Well, you can. All you have to do is become a First TV supporter. That gives you access to all of our specials on demand, and it's cake. All you have to go to, to is thefirsttv.com slash support. Thefirsttv.com slash support. Become a supporter. Enjoy learning about George Washington.